Who's a badass? I have sold eight grand worth of punk wigs for cats and dogs. And here is how I did it. I've made an Elvis wig and a Joe Exotic from the Tiger King wig, a Bride of Frankenstein wig. Little oh, buddy, come on. They are good hiders, aren't they? <laughs> this is my first time doing a professional photo shoot. Maybe she went into the bedroom. Let me double check. We are making a rainbow feather mohawk that's gonna be in the photo shoot that we're gonna do later today. I've sold about 750 wigs and mohawks for cats and dogs since I started. A lot of my customers have Sphinx cats who are used to being dressed up. My own cats, I know their limits. I can pop a mohawk on them for five or 10 minutes, but they won't tolerate it for too much longer than that, and I don't force them to. I'm knotting the feathers into a netting. To get all the feathers into the base, it takes about two hours. For the feather mohawks, I charge $75. I have been a theatrical wig maker for about 20 years now. For Broadway shows, the Metropolitan Opera, Saturday Night Live, I started making wigs for cats when Nudicris the Sphinx's mom asked me if I could make him an Elvis wig, and it came out really good, and so I've been making them ever since. After that, it gets four or five coats of hairspray, just so it stays up nice and tall, it doesn't droop. Starting my business from the initial mohawk, first thing I did was just make some test runs and test them out on my cat. From there, I had a website built, put them up online, and just decided to see what would happen. These are a few different styles of mohawks that I have. This is called a frohawk, and it's made with human hair. This is my faux fur rainbow mohawk. Farrah Posset is the originator of this style of mohawk. Her mom asked me to do a pink and blue mohawk, the Americana mohawk. Nudicris the Sphinx, he looks fabulous in it. Okay, so this is the uh, rainbow feather mohawk. Oh my goodness. That we're gonna put on Buck today for the photo shoot. That's this one of them. This is incredible. Well, let's see if uh, Buck's ready to get dressed. Good boy. Oh. <laughs> nope. He's <Nope. laughs> not having it. He's not running. Get it. My biggest customer base is hairless or sphinx cat owners. They are used to wearing clothing in order to keep warm. And it's also just a little bit funny, you get hair on a hairless cat. And one, two, three. Hey lady, give me my treat. Looks very punk in his mohawk. <laughs> The secret to getting good photos is to find what motivates the cat. So for Buck, it's definitely treats and food. Oh, I really like that profile. Yeah, you get all the colors uh, the in. the colors. <laughs> yeah, that's fabulous. I think the photos taken are looking great, and I'm really excited to see all of them. Good boy. My ultimate goal would be to see the business grow and really expand so that it's what I could do full time. Nobody needs a mohawk for their pet, but they just bring joy to the world and they make people smile.